Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Bear Brown. Thanks for coming to my garden channel today where I'm here to help you grow something tasty. All right, in today's video, I'm going to uh, talk to you about tomato plant care. That's right, because we want to make sure that we uh, keep our tomato plants very, very healthy because by now we should have some tomatoes already on our plants and we want to make sure that we keep them away from pests and disease. But if we do have, or if you do have pests and disease, don't worry. I'm gonna give you some uh, tips to uh, help you deal with it. And I do have a, a bonus tip about how we can get the uh, birds to get on our side when it comes in relation to uh, our plants. So just stick around for that. All right, I'm gonna take you to a couple of my uh, tomato plants so you can see what I got going on. This tomato plant is starting to bend down because I'm getting uh, heavy tomatoes on it. So I gotta try to figure out how to stake it up. All right, but that's a good problem to have. And I wanna show my other uh, tomato plants. I got several, but the uh, spray that I talked to you about a couple weeks ago, the, uh, the aspirin spray, you see it producing tons of tomatoes. All right, and we do have some that's getting ready to be ripe. And they're pro producing so much that I can't keep them off the, uh, off the ground. But so that's my, that's my worry trying to keep them off to make sure that we don't have any any uh pest or have any disease all right now i have two sprays that i want to uh share with you and the reason for that is because this is going to help us fight against uh disease all right so the disease that i'm talking about number one is blight and number two is leaf spot the leaf spot when it gets the uh dark black or dark brown area and then it gets yellow all around that leaf and then with the uh, leaf spot well with the blight you know that your entire plant is probably is going to start wilting away it's looking pretty bad so i'm going to give you another spray for that all right so the first spray is going to be a preventative measure meaning we're going to try to knock it out before it even starts all right so what you're going to need you're going to need a uh one gallon jug and you're going to need of course baking soda all right so now this spray works um, with uh, uh, two tablespoons per gallon so for every gallon you got to have two tablespoons of baking soda all right so let me get my first one all right second scoop let me put this down to the side and what I'm gonna do is make sure all that's in all I'm going to do is uh, put my top on it, and I'm going to shake it up. Now, and you want to make sure that you spray this in the morning time, and it's not morning, so I'm going to talk you through it, and I've already sprayed some of my uh, tomato plants, so I'm going to hit the rest of them off tomorrow with this spray. So once it's uh, already uh, shook up pretty good, all you're gonna do is spray the undersides of the leaves and you're gonna spray over top. You wanna make sure you hit it real good. All right, and this spray, you're gonna apply this spray um, every two weeks. Now, if it rains, you gotta reapply. So if I spray it tomorrow and it rains again, then the next day I gotta put it back on. All right, so just keep that in mind. And if you remember the uh, Ashman spray and if you're new to my channel, I'll put the uh, the aspirin spray video at the end of this uh, video, so you can click on it and you get right there. You can put the uh, aspirin in with this uh, this uh, mixture, so the baking soda and the uh, two aspirins can go in the same uh, sprayer, and you can shake it up, and then you can go ahead and spray it. And it, once again, every uh, two weeks, unless the uh, unless it rains then uh, you can go ahead and uh, be good with that. All right, the uh, next thing, let's say for example, if you notice that you have disease already over it, you get, it could be blight or it could be the uh, leaf spot. The next thing you're gonna need, you're gonna need uh, hydrogen, hydrogen peroxide, all right? And you wanna make sure that it says uh, 3%. All right, so right here, you want the hydrogen that has 3%. All right, that is important because you don't want to 
burn your uh, plants. And once again, you got to spray this in the morning time and make sure that you start with one plant first. Don't do all your plants because you want to see if there's uh, any uh, issues with the plant because you don't want to burn your plant if, this, if it was too much and you put it all on all the plants. All right, but this should work. I will uh, let you know that this is not organic, but uh, but many of us use this. And just, just in case you already have the blight or the uh, leaf spot all over it. So what you would do, you would get a gallon of water again, and you would take 10 tablespoons. So 10 tablespoons per one gallon. And then you will mix that in, and then you will go shoot the area of the disease. You will, you will go ahead and shoot all over the, uh, the plant. Make sure you get it pretty good. And you gotta wait 24 hours with this spray. So it should kill out the disease in 24 hours. And then after the 24 hours, you can wait another day to be on the safe side. Then you're gonna make this mixture with your uh, baking soda and if you want to put the aspirin in you can do that too and then you can go ahead and start spraying and then once again you go every two weeks that should keep you clear from any uh, disease uh, but if it happens again then you go back to the uh, hydrogen peroxide all right so that is going to help you with the uh, uh, disease and make sure that you are watering from the bottom because that's how you get a lot of the disease on the uh, ground. When you spray it, it flies up on your uh, on your plant, and then that's where the problem comes in. All right, so just keep that in mind. All right, the next thing I want to talk to you about, and I almost stepped on it again. I like to a uh, companion plant. All right, so with uh, tomato plants, I use uh, basil. I'll I'll be able to put this out around the rest of my. Uh, plants because these sprouted a little late inside my house so they are still kind of hardening off all right so what I would do I would plant this right beside my uh, tomato plant and this is gonna fight against aphids so if you have trouble with aphids use uh, basil and the other reason why I use it I've heard it before and uh, you can be the judge if you are deciding to use this you put uh, basil near your tomato plants because it's supposed to help uh, sweeten up the uh, actual tomatoes. All right, so that's a added bonus. And I love, that's right, I love the way basil smell. The aphids don't love it, so that's a win-win. Keep the aphids away and we'll be good to go. And let me take you to uh, one of my uh, plants that has the uh, basil already there. So let's go. All right, there's my uh, basil. Uh, plant is doing its job. There's my uh, tomato plant. I had to uh, replant that one because the uh, other one got knocked down and I have another uh, tomato plant closely beside it and it has a lot of tomatoes on it and it's still falling down so I got to try to stake it back up so I don't get any disease on that. Alright but that's what I'm going to do for the uh, rest of my tomato plants as well and I it should uh, work for you. All right, now I wanna take some time and talk to you about the uh, hornworm. Now, that's right, I don't like the hornworm. Now, last year I didn't have any hornworms. I don't know why, I don't know how. So far, I don't have any uh, hornworms too, but I want to uh, tell you uh, what you need to do in order to uh, look, how to look for the hornworm and what to do when you, uh, if you have it. All right, so what you're gonna do you're going to, or you'll notice it if you see that your plant is being eaten up. I mean, a hornworm, if you give it a day or two, it will tear your uh, plant down. So you're gonna see it's gonna defoliate uh, the leaves. And, and once they uh, finish that, they'll jump on, uh, crawl on the uh, actual tomatoes if you have them, and they'll start stripping the, the uh, outer uh, layer of the uh, tomato. I've known because I've seen this quite a bit years ago. Not last year, but the years before. All right, so you wanna make sure you look for the uh, droppings, because you, if you already notice that your plant is being eaten up, then you know it is a problem and it's already on it. And if you see the little droplings, the poop that they leave behind after they're eaten up, 
your plant eating and pooping. That's what they're doing. All right, so you look for those black droplets and you will know to look extra hard because they blend in real well to your uh, tomato plant. All right, so you will need to pick those off. You either throw them to the, your chickens. I don't have chickens, I wish I did. But, or you can throw them across the field or you can get rid of them how you uh, choose. All right, now, the other way, when I had them real bad two years ago, three years ago, is I use this at night. This is a flashlight, but this is a black light flashlight. So any other flashlight won't work. It has to be a black light flashlight. You go at night, you go looking on your mission. Every time you shine this on your tomato plant, if you have a, a hornworm on there, you will automatically spot them because it's gonna show up real quick. All right, so this is the uh, other thing. Now I normally took a pair of scissors, I went clipping mine. I cut them in half. Now, if you don't want to be that, that vicious as me, um, you just choose how you want to discard them. But if they're going to harm my plants, harm my tomatoes, they got to go. And you saw that I got some this, uh, some tomatoes that are getting close to being ripe. So I'm going to do everything I can to protect them. All right, so that is another way that you can uh, attack the uh, hornworm. All right, now, the, uh, oh, and the uh, reason why the hornworms come is because of the, uh, what's the, what do they call that? The uh, hawk moth. All right, so the hawk moth will lay the uh, larvae on your uh, tomato plants and they will go to town on it. All right, now the bonus tip. All right, when we're talking about the uh, actual uh, hawk moth, they do lay the, uh, the, um, larvae on your tomato plants but they also lay them around the base of them too so one thing you can do you can mulch with uh, wood chips i have a wood chip garden all right you can use uh shavings from pencil sharpeners and put them at the base of your tomato plants now they lay their uh larvae around the uh the plant which they do as well and if you have the wood chips down there or you have the uh, shavings down there from a pencil sharpener or something sharp, they are not going to uh, crawl up your tomato plant because every time they crawl, they're gonna get cut. And that may be one, another reason why I didn't have that many, I didn't have any last year, but that doesn't stop them from laying on the actual plant. All right, so the uh, mulch will help you with that. All right, the other tip about the birds, a lot of people say that, hey, we having trouble with birds. You can use those birds as your allies. All right, the reason why they peck at your tomatoes is because they're trying to get water. They're using your tomatoes to get water. So why not have a uh, bird bath? I, ha I don't have one yet. I may try to make one because I do have birds coming in, helping me out. But I want to make sure I give them water so that they won't use my uh, tomatoes or my other uh, fruits for water and that would be an added bonus because guess what when the uh, birds fly in and they see a nice juicy hornworm what do you think they're gonna do they're gonna go ahead and have that for a snack all right so why not give them the water let them drink and then they can eat the snack which is the uh, pest that we don't want and they will go after other pests that are harming our uh, garden so use um, nature to help us out. I provide water for the birds. The birds are helping me by protecting my, my garden. All right, so that's another tip. So we don't have to worry about the birds harming our tomato plants or harming our tomatoes. They can be our allies as long as we give them water and we'll be good to go. All right, so these are just some uh, tips that's gonna help you have nice, big, juicy tomatoes and maybe even help your uh, other plants because the birds will be our protectors. If you have any other tips that can help the tomato plants, help our garden, please drop a line in the comments and I'll look forward to seeing your comments. And so you may be helping me and you may be helping other uh, viewers as well. So have a great day and keep growing. All right, Bear Brown is out, later.